Oh. Man, mom, that was very, very, very dark. Yeah, but it was really, really good. The way it began. I don't think, scary. I don't think grandma and grandpa should not see this. I think my dad would like it, but I don't think my mom would. Yeah, grandma would not like this. Dude, this 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 movie could have been rated R. Yeah, it's PG thirteen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man. Didn't he almost? Didn't it look like he was almost gonna die? Like he couldn't get up, basically. Like he ran out of energy. Like, it looked like you good? the girl that played the cat. <laughs> <sighs> Man. Oh. <sighs> Looks like we have our new Batman. Man, I love this Batman movie. Oh, yeah, me too. This is a great Batman movie. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> that was a fantastic movie. I know. It was so awesome. Robert Patterson is awesome. He's an awesome Batman. Yeah. All right, that's it. That's enough for tonight. Whew. Yeah, go ahead, use it. Man, the Batman movie is very, very awesome. I can see why everybody was saying it was very, very dark, but very, very good. I mean, the Batman, the Riddler, oh man, there is so much that I got to see. Oh man. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, oh, man, it, it was good. Yeah, she's using the restroom right there. I mean, it was good. It was very, very good. It was very, very good. You guys got to go see the Batman. You guys got to go see it. Dude, that was... The Batman. No, that was crazy, dude. I know. They're on a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. Nah, like, the, be the way that movie began was so, like, freaky. I know, the dude I know. Was Andy right there. I know, I know. <laughs> I know. That, know. that was good. Yeah, that, that was good. good. Like, I did I, not think that was going to happen. The movie probably would have been perfect if they bumped it up to rated R. Just to show, like... The I movie. know, right? Yeah, it could have been rated R, but Riddler's much more scary and much more, uh, well, out of his mind than I thought. Because after all, like, all these years, I've been thinking that the Riddler just, like, wasn't so bad, like, wasn't so scary after all, but... Yeah, he's, he's like, very smart. He's yeah. Like one of the smartest villains in... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but after seeing this movie... Wow, I was wrong. I was very wrong. That movie was, like, was amazing. Yeah, it oh, was. Man. Oh, man. Wait. Oh, wait. Hey, which one of the boys uh, saw it? Um, my friend Michael saw it. <sighs> was it Ghost Rider or Creepy? Oh, oh, they saw it? No, no, no. Did they see it? Don't bend it. Don't bend it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Relax. Relax, relax. Mm -hmm. Was it Ghost Rider or Creepy? <coughs> they saw it? No, I'm asking you if they saw it. I don't know, they didn't. Okay. I, um, Michael saw it. Oh, he saw it? Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, <coughs> no, that movie really does set up, like, the other film. <coughs> Oh yeah, yeah. You already see Penguin and Joker being in the next film because of all the water. Oh like, yeah. Penguin like he could work with that. 
because like he has like some sub submarines and stuff. Who and was that villain right there in jail prison? <laughs> that that was Joker. That was Joker. That, I heard the people on the city bring up the Green Goblin. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I think knew. I think that was a joke because the Green Goblin. <laughs> Posters. Yeah, I know. Oh man. Well, yep, I know. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, he did. This movie is gonna be the number one of 2022. <laughs> oh yeah. Now I finally approve of him. I finally approve of him now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I... Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah. They said in the behind the scenes that that he was going through a lot of tough times doing that movie. Uh, he's going through a lot of tough times to. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, to build up. Yeah, he did. Batman. Yeah, he did. He almost lost that job. Yeah, he almost did. I'm glad he did it. I and know. It just shows what an amazing actor he is. Yeah, I know. <sighs> if it would have been Ben Affleck or anyone else, we would have already know what they're doing. You know? Oh, no, not Ben Affleck. No, he's... No. I'm picking Robert Patterson for now on. Yeah. Oh, so cold. This is chilly tonight. Huh. Oh. That movie was out. What did you guys think of the movie? I loved it. It was awesome. Yeah. I it was cool. Is yours? The window was down the whole time? What? Throw the window up. Chilly. That one scene when all the lights went out. Uh -huh. And he was the only light. Like he's like the light in the dark. To, like, yeah. Oh yeah. I thought that was cool. Yeah, he was. Yeah. And that's what Batman essentially is when he's out there like fighting crime. It's like yeah, the light it's, in the dark. It's, it's true. That's what he is. <laughs> oh yeah. Now, I think the whole world is seeing what a great actor he is. Oh, yeah, yeah, he is. I mean, he has done a lot of movies. For, well, I mean, he did, uh, like, um, a Harry Potter in the Goblet of Fire. And it was okay. That's before he was in Twilight. And then, uh, then... Uh, the Twilight movies came around and those movies made him, him and Kristen Stewart really, really famous. And um, then he went on to doing other movies. You know, he did a movie with uh, Reed Witherspoon uh, that I have on um, DVD. It's okay. It's not the best movie. Yet. But he's done all kinds of movies. You know, so mm -hmm. he's real, like you said, stepped up to the challenge. He, he did really great. I mean, after 10 years, and now when it comes to this, like, huh, man. Because it's really not easy to play Batman. Oh no, it's not it's not that easy to get a role like him. Yeah, I know. One thing I like about this film is <coughs> What'd you like about it? This Batman, he wasn't like if you I don't know if you'll understand what I'm saying, but he wasn't like cracked out. <laughs> no, no. Like he was like oh. 
like, like he's a man still, basically. Oh he's yeah, a yeah. Man with, with gadgets, trying to like just really make a change because of like, his money and all that. And yeah. It showed his human side.
guy with the raspy voice, well, they all have raspy voices. Um, well, we were just watching one recently on, on, oh. on TV. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was Christian Bale, yeah. Christian Bale. Um, yeah, Christian Bale. What about the one with Ben Affleck and, yeah, or yeah. the one against Superman or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was Ben Affleck? Yeah, 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 that was Ben Affleck. I mean, how, when, Batman did, what, that, when did those movies come out? Uh, Batman Begins is the one with Michael Keaton. When did those oh, movies huh? come out? Okay. Michael Keaton was the first Batman. Let yeah. me say, when the movies came out. I got, okay. okay. I want to get an idea of when the last time I see the Batman movie. When's the last time it was Christian Bale and uh, one with, with uh, Ben like, Affleck? Okay, Christian Bale began in 2005. All right, and then, like, yeah, but don't forget about Michael Keaton. He was the first Batman. I know. So 2005, and then the next one was like 2008 or nine or something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. The next one he did was 2012. You guys are getting about Michael Keaton. I know. So he was the first Batman. I guess I mean, like I know who Batman is and who Spider Man is, but like surrounding characters and relations. You know, I mean, it's, not only has it been a long time, but I don't follow him as closely, you know, but I find it very entertaining. Yeah. Um, I thought that the Riddler was really awesome. Oh, yeah. That, oh, great, yeah. Great acting. Oh, yeah. That, okay, so, focusing, yes, Michael Keaton, but was he in the 70s or the 80s? Oh, well, that, yeah, that one's gone way back. Batman and Robin? Yeah, Michael Keaton. And, and with Danny and DeVito. Michael Keaton. When I was in high school, and then uh, Batman and Robin from the but I don't know why. I just the Alfred character didn't stick with me for some reason. Yeah. So, Riddler, his real name, I actually knew his real name, is Edward Nigma. And they saw like his cards. I, I wasn't able, able to really catch it, but like <laughs> one was Edward, like something else. Like it wasn't like his full name. It's Edward Nigma. And mainly, Riddler, he's supposed to be this like really smart guy, but all like these different mental problems so he's still like a genius yeah so he's, that's why he's like psychotic and the main story with him and batman is he always wants to be smarter than batman yeah but and batman he, is smarter than him okay well in this movie he was like beating them to the punch in like every single scenario <coughs> flooded the city you know and then batman finally found him in the end and, and he wanted to get arrested so because he already knew what was going to happen
That was like, him. That, that was is him. The only they, they completely changed him in this movie. How they do that to him? I do not know. A lot of makeup. Would and, he do put on a lot of weight for the movie? I don't know. Let me be because like he, he looked big. It doesn't look like him. I know. I know. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Riddles. 